hello friends welcome back to our channel so today we are going to learn about abstract class so abstract class is also part of object oriented programming so today we will learn more about it and with one example so let's see what is an abstract class so it's a class that contains one or more methods so you can define any type of method and then you can use it in another you can say child classes so it's part of you can say inheritance so what so abstract class cannot be instantiated so you can't create an object of it so if you will try to create an object it will give you an error so we will see that in the lab child class has to implement the abstract class and the child class which uses this abstract class is known as a concrete class so abstract method forces the child classes to give the implementation of these methods in them and thus help them to achieve abstraction as each subclass can give its own implementation so you can create the method based on your parent class and you can do what add whatever functionality you need in your child classes so how we use it so we have to use you can say abc and abstraction method from the abc module which provides infrastructure for defining a custom based abstract base class okay so what we have to do we have to add an abstract method decorator in front of or we can say our method or function so that we will see in our lab so let's say why abstract classes so in case you are creating you can say a big project and you want you can say maintain a kind of a blueprint that my you can say functions or classes should have these methods it should should present in those you can say methods let's say i'm creating a class and i have two methods say x and y so i would like that those should be part of each and every class which is inheriting the properties so that's why it's important so importance of using abstract class in python is that if our subclasses don't follow the blueprint the python will give us an error so in case you want to hide unnecessary you can say information from the users so that's why we use the abstract classes because we are hiding the exact blueprint so that's why it's important then preventing instantiation so by marking the class as an abstract you are preventing it from getting instantiated directly so this is useful when you want to provide a common base class with a shared functionality or interface but do not want objects of that class to be created okay so design clarity so when you are creating these classes you have more clarification that we have to follow this this method only missing of that method can give us an error so that's why it's important to have use the same methods which we are using in our parent classes which indicates or you can say but you can override those methods so that is the beauty of it it ensures consistency across all the classes okay so in summary we can say that abstract classes provide a way to define a common interface and enforce consistent structure across various implementations this is particularly useful when we have complex systems where multiple components need to work together so let's go and see an example and see how it works so here if you will see i have created uh, you can say i have imported the abc method and here i am creating a class called view and here i am creating you can say a child class home page view and i am creating you can say a function called get i am not giving any functions here or you can say any functionality or any kind of business logic but here i am just giving you can say return home page or you can say i'm just trying to print it out nothing much and here i'm just printing handling the post request so let's see how it works so now my class is view so if i will try to create the object of this class view it should give me an error so as i mentioned that you can't instantiate a class which is a parent class so that's why it's giving me an error but when i will try to create an object of my child class so it will work and if you will see here it gives home page whatever i have given so if i will say that get home page so it will give me get home page same way i have again you can say created the object here so in case i delete it and run it it still give me the results handling post request 
but let's say if i delete this which is not present in my parent class so it should give me an error so let's say okay the class is created but when i will try to create an object it will give me an error that it's not matching the blueprint so this way it's important when you have to maintain the blueprint or you have to use all the functions which are created in the parent class so that's the you can say importance of creating the abstract classes so you create same structure across your project i hope this video was useful to you in case you have any questions you can ask me in the comment box thank you very much thanks for your time thank you bye bye